In what appears to be one of the most violent clashes in the history of the 10-week anti-extradition bill protests, Hong Kong police are reportedly storming Hong Kong International Airport clad in riot gear ready to clear all protesters from the premises. Clouds of tear gas and pepper spray are reportedly filling the air as police apply liberal doses to the protesters. Let's be realistic here, Hong Kong to China is like Manhattan to America. The idea of Manhattan demanding freedom from the US through protests like this, is farcical. Can you imagine what would happen if a bunch of idiot radicalized students shut down Atlanta Hartsfield for two days? But what is that the protesters actually want? Want a better lifestyle? Hong Kong people have a high standard of living than anywhere in China. Two more freedom. Hong Kong people have more freedom and autonomy than anywhere in China. Three more democracy. Hong Kong people have more say in their officials than anywhere in China. They want total democracy and freedom from China? This is a fantasy that they should know can and will never be. Anybody with even 30% of brain power would know this. The only thing that can and will be achieved by this is the loss of one, two, three above. Hong Kong's benefits over the rest of China will now be rapidly removed. And they will be displaced by many thousands of mainland Chinese everywhere. China can in no way let Hong Kong protesters seem to win this game, else they encourage the same practice elsewhere. It is inevitable now. The US, CIA instigated protests in Hong Kong will result in martial law and permanent increased Chinese military presence, and a policy of population displacement. Mainland Chinese are behind Xi on this. The mainlanders do not like the privileged Hong Kongers. These protesters are living in 1960s irrational self-indulgent thinking, and are not dealing with the real world. President Trump tweeted today saying, Our intelligence has informed us that the Chinese government is moving troops to the border with Hong Kong. Everyone should be calm and safe. Well Mr. President, the US is moving troops to its southern border for you know what. Be safe and be calm. Hong Kong is part of China. Hong Kong is Beijing's business, not our or anybody else's business. Friends, when the dear leader says, be calm, we are entering the deep trouble. These idiotic protesters are playing a game with only one outcome and the USA provocateurs will not lift a finger to save the useless tarts, this I can assure you. This was the Atlantis Report, please like. Share. Subscribe, and share with us your opinion in the comment section below. Thank you.